the name of this podcast is called El Gringo y la Latina. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the title, El Gringo con la Latina. Perfect. I like this name. <laughs> the most beautiful man, the most beautiful gringo, and uh, okay looking. <laughs> and the most beautiful Latina. And the most Latina. beautiful Latina <laughs> I ever saw. You want to introduce yourself, first of all, before we get into our exciting discussion? Sorry for my English and, and learning, but I will give everything um, to myself. And I'm Dayana Ramirez, and I like everything about the business, new information. So I'm Colombian, uh, I speak Spanish, but I feel happy that I'm here with you because I know that you are a good businessman and I like to learn about that and other persons. I mean, we went to dinner and we talked about a lot of stuff that like, I would have loved to talk about on the camera anyway. It's, it's interesting to see a Latina that is also a businesswoman, uh, but you said to me like the first time we met that you went through a journey yeah. to get there and maybe you started off like your adult life as more of a typical Latina and then you realized you didn't want to be that, the stereotype and fit in, so you... Exactly, because some people think that all the Latin women or Colombian women is like only beautiful face and sexy body. But, but you are a beautiful face and a sexy <laughs> body. Yes, but I, I like that someone can see that I have another things because the peop a lot of people think that all the women is like this or want to like, prefer to be with a rich guy or something, but it's because in our country is like um, it's a little difficult to have like a good job because in the government is is difficult no but i think that when you want another resource really you you need to you need to change your mentality and you need to be with people that have these results so in my case I'm traveling all the time and I like to be with people like this but it's because I invest money on my education in mentors in books in podcasts so for this reason I have another information too. so you know you spoke about um, earlier about like guys from different places as well what's your What's your opinion on like the difference between Latin guys and European guys, gringos? Oh. Um, it's, it's the pain because all the cultures are very, it's, it's, it's very different, you know? So in European people is like more, because the women, they're work. The, the women's like is independent woman. Here in, Col in Colombia is more popular to find a woman with a guy that is with this masculine energy, you know? But you know, like, I know you're different. I know you love to work on yourself. And I've always said, like, my whole... I, I preach masculinity. Like, a lot of the time I talk about how being a man is so important. And a lot of people think because of that, I want a woman that is staying at home, cooking, cleaning, having my 20 children, and, um, you know, living that kind of life. For me, like, there would be convenience in that. There would be a lot of convenience in that. But in general, I think the, the, the women of this age are taking this kind of independent thing like way too far. i tell you why. Because what happens is that when you put someone, like when you suppress someone a lot, like women feel like they've not been able to be independent in the past, right? They feel like they've been like hushed down to be, to do what they're told, um, to, to treat their man in a certain way and not have their own dreams and aspirations. So now, I feel like where women are like, we want equality, we want to be pushing up, I actually think women are trying to like, like take it almost too far and like, I'm an independent woman, I don't need anyone, I don't need a man. How the fuck are you gonna have a baby without a man? No. How are you gonna like survive with your emotions and control your emotions without a man, right? So I think there's a big balance to it and there's also, it goes a lot to say that Society now is the worst it's ever been. Ever. It's, you have women like cutting off their dick. 
Uh, putting this, on the dick and this is the life. Some, some no, woman, that is not the life. No, no, no. O sea, that is a choice that people have. Exactly, but some women, uh, women confuse that masculine energy with I need to do everything alone. You know, but no, the in in the nature in in love, in the real life, the men, all the men has this energy, masculine energy, and I think that the woman is the complement. It's okay that a woman is like uh, with masculine energy, but always you need a man that support you in these things. So sometimes the woman confuse this, like, no, I will be independent, so I will stay alone. I will be, I don't need anybody, you know? Okay, so what's the sexiest thing like a man can be for you? If you look at a man, you're like, what is the sexiest thing for a man to be? The mentality. What mentality? Successful mentality, because now you're flirting with me. <laughs> yes, I think that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I I want a, a guy that I can feel like an inspiration, because I know that I work very hard, but I want, or in my in my case, I want a guy that is more like me, because I can feel that he helped me to ground more. See. I can I can relate and level with that so much more than girls that are like I like as I say before I'm an independent woman I have everything I don't need anyone it's really nice that you say that like you love to work hard but you still want a man that portrays dominance that portrays to be over you exactly I guess my question is do you think like a relationship can work like that it's be no it's, it's because sometimes the guys think that because you have money you have the control you know in the in in the that's the world. generally how the world works if you have money yes, you have control but it's different when the woman is independent too and for example in my case i can cook for you but it's because i want to i want i want to be a special with you because you are my boyfriend you know Would you no it's because me? i need to stay on the in the house because now the time is, is different would you cook for me yes why not i love to cook <laughs> but even if you hated to cook would you cook for me Yes, because I know that this is necessary in a relationship. Because would you, you expect need, me to cook need... for you? Yes, because I need. But I pay the rent. <laughs> I mean that you need to have a quality time with your of with course. your with your boyfriend. You cook at home. I take you out to the restaurant. Exactly. I'm not cooking. You'll never see me in the kitchen ever. Yes, but sometimes I think that you you want to enjoy good times and I can cook for you because yeah. I want to have this intention with you. Yeah, I think like if you're out, I will hire a chef to cook, then I'll get them to play it, tell the chef like to lay it out, tell the chef to go and I tell you, baby, I cooked you. Exactly, <laughs> this is the point. <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> yes, of course. But I like to you. I, I, yes, I love to go in uh, good places. As I say, on the internet, I am known for like talking a lot about men like men you need to have control of everything like you need to be emotionally in control you need to be in control of your life you need to be the alpha male you need to be dominant with your woman um, but when you have a balanced mindset like you and when you are proposing to a man that you are working hard but also you have time to like provide for him in in and, and provide your value the best way you can to him because let's take you and I for example like I support people around me regardless, right? So let's just let's just put a crazy situation and say we were married, yeah? Why did you smile? <laughs> no, it's because I like your mentality, you know, and it's, it's very funny that because sometimes you think That's that's why you're in a bed with me, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's very crazy that I'm here in, in a room with a guy in in a, in a podcast. Wow, it's crazy. She's never know. been in a room with a guy before. <laughs> yeah. You have, you're a virgin, funny. right? <laughs> It's very funny. I'm a virgin. I like it because it's different. I'm I'm a virgin. I never had a girl in my room before. Really? Yeah, I I never had sex in my life. So I'm um, a lucky girl. Yeah. You might <laughs> I be. think that you are a lucky boy. You might I <laughs> might be interview. <laughs> we'll see. Oh for the interview. Uh yes. For the interview no. But uh when the camera's off, it's a it's a different story. And it, this is the point because I know that you have like a lot of information, but I have two. So this is the compliment when you have a person that with your same 
mentality because I can learn different things about you and you can learn about me too. This is, and, um, I mean that this is the balance that you need in your life. Mm -hmm. You think you could teach me stuff? Yes, I can teach you a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so, okay. I live in London, right? So, uh, I live in more of a Western society than Colombia. Colombia is a very different... Um, by the way, guys, we're in Medellin. Like, uh, you're from Bogota, verdad? Mm -hmm. But Medellin is, is close to Bogota, and a lot of people from Colombia come to Medellin because it's an extremely beautiful city, uh, but very different to England, very, very different to England. Very um, different in, in, in another country. You've been to England, right? <laughs> No, in London, no. You haven't been to London. So if, if you wanted to, to know go. something about London, what would you I need to go, but I have a lot of friends there, and I know how it's there. Um, in, my, in my opinion, you need to travel, <laughs> and you need to make contacts. For me, this is everything, you know. Uh, but yes, it's very different than the life here. Uh, but I think that it's okay if you live in Colombia, London, Dubai, wherever. When you have the mentality that you want to do different things. It's a question I get a lot because I travel, right? So people ask me all the time, they say like, Diego, um, I want to move somewhere. Like I saved up some money. I want to tra like travel and go somewhere. Where's the best place for me to like develop myself as a person and be the best me? And I say to people, well, of course there are environments that are better than others. In England, I don't know if you know, we, we were ranked as the second most um, like, uh, moody country, you know what moody is? Mm -hmm. Like angry? Yeah. In the, in the world. England, the second most in the world, most like angry. And then there's? Yes, but it's the same, for example, when you go in Switzerland, it's very funny because when I was in Switzerland, I was doing like a video on my cell phone and a guy asked me, why you are smiling? And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm yeah. here in Switzerland, but it's it's the culture because, for example, in Colombia, we are very happy, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so, but there's a balance to it because I feel like a lot of the Latinos, they want the structure yeah. that comes with the European life. European life is very safe, very structured. We have, you know, it's, it's yeah, very because, secure. But I think, I think that is because the people is in the system all the time. It's like, I need to work or, or the people is like, I need to go to the university. I need to graduate. I need to get a job. I need to buy a house. This is the system. This is the um, that our parents teach us. Yeah, you know? for sure. No, for but, this reason, but, it's important that you But in you London, can it's like uh, in London. Like I say to people, if you're going to be in London, I have two expressions. One, put yourself in a great environment. Like it's great if you can take yourself to somewhere. You know, I lived in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. There's a lot of uh, people that are, are working um, as nomads, as as online workers. A lot of people to network with. A lot of great, great um, energy and great vibes and freedom but also in london where people are very angry i say uh, i have an expression which is be the light even in the darkest rooms so no matter how how dark the room is no matter how much like there's no energy and everyone is angry and unhappy you can still be the light you can still be the happy person you can still smile even if a man in switzerland tell you not to smile like you can still smile so i think when you experience that life in a in a really angry place in a dark place and you can still manage to work hard on yourself like let's say your mentality now yeah you have it in colombia you are probably like for a colombian woman you are like working hard yeah compared to, compared to the rest yeah but if you came to england you're then like normal everyone's working hard because you have to because it's so it's so competitive in england and there's a lot of work so that's why when i come to places like here and I wake up at four or five in the morning and I go out to the streets and no one is up, no one is awake. But in England, I wake up at five, I go to the gym. I wake up at four or five, I go to the gym. Other people are at the gym. People are up because people start working at six, seven. It's like uh, London is never sleeping, always moving really quickly. So you have to keep up. So it really inspires you. Like London, you cannot fall behind. If you fall behind, like you're gonna get, you feel it. So uh, it, it's so competitive and, and really good to be in a competitive environment, even if people feel like it's maybe darker and the energy is worse because it inspires you to, to work harder and actually forces you to work harder whether you like it or not. I think that in this case, it's very important your intern, internal. Internal? Internal. <laughs> internal. Man, you're so cute. <laughs> internal. That's, you, you that's no scrunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I think that this this is everything because you are 
you are the five persons that you are. Do you know what is this expression? Yeah, we say in, uh, in English, um, you are who you surround yourself with. Exactly. In my case, for example, here is the same in Colombia. A lot of people go to university. A lot of people prefer to stay like in, in parties, parties, or like close the time. You know, you, you can see the same people doing the same. You like to so, party? Yes, but no like not, for not me my girlfriend. every day. <laughs> you my know? girlfriend doesn't party. No, I, 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 I don't like the party. <laughs> so I, I, <laughs> my girlfriend stays stay I home. like, but not like too much, you know? I, I, if you ask me, I, I prefer to, stay, to see a movie, to be on my, on my, on my, on my, on my house. That With go, your uh, boyfriend. Yes, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I prefer another thing in my case. Yeah, for sure. But when like for me, it's, it's something big. If I had a girlfriend, like she doesn't go to clubs. Like it's something big for me. Yes, you can go, but not like all the time. No, because never. You can never go, ever. No, why? Never. I tell you why. Because as your man, I feel like it's my, 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 my duty to protect you. As a man, we are physically like stronger, yeah, more capable. Also, what women don't know as, a, as men, because I am a man, I understand other men. Which means I know when you go to a club, I know what other men are thinking when they see you and what other men are capable of doing. So for me as your boyfriend, I'm spending my whole life providing for you. I'm spending my whole life working so hard to be like, so we can have the best family possible. Don't look your lips like that. <laughs> so, I feel like I can demand that I don't want to put you in a situation where you're, you're in danger. Now, you can call that controlling or manipulative. You can call it what you want. You can say I'm toxic, whatever. But the truth of it is, I know that a club for a woman is not a safe place to be. And a club, I'm sorry, like it's unpopular opinion. Clubs are for single people. Clubs is just a, an, a real life Tinder. Like, you like music? There are, there are like bars in the day you can go to and listen to music with your friends. You want time with your friends? Of course. Of course you have time with your friends, but go to restaurants in the day. No, go to situations exactly. where I'll, I'll, I'll pay for all the girls to come around to the house. I'll pay, I'll, I'll pay for a chef to cook them all dinner and I will go to the cafe to work. Like, I know you, you, you want your time with your girls and I understand that. But what a lot of people don't understand is I hate the saying. People say, like, I want to be in a relationship, but I also need my freedom. When you want something in life that's healthy, that's good, you have to sacrifice things. If you want to become fit and go to the gym, you need to sacrifice time. You need to sacrifice Brain. shit food. You need to sacrifice going out at night. You need to sacrifice, you know, um, like restaurants so you can sleep more, you, so you can you, work you harder. You need to change everything if right. you want another result. If you want, if you want to be, you know it because you, you've had to sacrifice a lot of your social life to, to run your businesses. The same thing with the relationship. When you have a relationship with a man, you have to sacrifice certain amounts of freedom in your life. Because remember, you are losing freedom. So am I. When I'm in a relationship with you, you say, oh, but I still want to go clubbing. Okay, I still want to fuck 50 girls a night. But I'm not going to because I'm with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to like uh, go out and talk to girls on the street all the time because I'm with you. I sacrifice certain things in a relationship too. I sacrifice loads of my money. Yes, but I think, I think that when you have a relationship, I think that love is a decision, you know, because when you decide to, to be with someone, it's because you want to be with this person, because if not, you are single, you know. But in my case, for example, I'm in a point in my life that my next boyfriend is, is my husband, because I'm in a point in my life that I don't, want to, I, I don't want to lose. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't want to lose my time with ground person. I don't want to lose my energy with people that don't um, to help me help me to grow more, you know. But you need to understand that all the people want like a lot of things in in the life, but not all the people pay the price. One hundred percent. Exactly. One hundred percent. For this reason, not all the people is rich. And, and for this reason, all, all people who have, like now, you see the problem that all the girls want a relationship and they want to be free. Why do you think the, the divorce rates are the highest they've ever been? Like, the lack of couples, the highest it's ever been. People are getting divorced so much. 
No one is forming like real and bonding relationships because everyone wants both things. Men want to be in a relationship and to sleep around with other girls. Women want to be in a relationship and still go and put themselves in situations. Let me ask you a question. If you had a Ferrari, where would you try and, and put it for most of the time? In my place. In your place? Or like if it's out in somewhere? The, in the, on the street, yes, because... You would leave it on the street? No. <laughs> you have a really, I don't know, you have a really expensive car, you just leave it on the street? In Colombia? <laughs> no, but in, in this case, for example, or here in Colombia, you can have like a fer or, or you, you can do it, but no, it's common to find a Ferrari here. Of course, but ideally, you would keep it away in your house or in a, a safe... In my house. Yeah. Or in a safe parking space. Exactly. Somewhere with security, somewhere... With, because you want to protect it, right? Exactly. So, so the, the Ferrari, it has good, good protection, right? Like, no one can just get inside and, and steal yeah. it. It has good alarm system, whatever. But you still don't want people to touch it, to take loads of pictures with it, to sit yeah. on the car. I understand your point now. <laughs> you see it? I'm not saying you are a Ferrari, but you are something that I value. And I know, because I trust you, because you are my woman, that no one's gonna break in and steal because I know the alarm system here but if you is, is, is locked on. Let I, me finish, I, let me finish. I know the alarm system is good, but I don't want people to sit on my Ferrari, to touch my Ferrari, to put my Ferrari in any sort of danger, even if I know no one is gonna get inside. Because remember, even in a Ferrari, if someone wants to that bad, they can punch and punch and punch and finally break inside. Maybe they can't steal, but they can damage my Ferrari because I left it somewhere that is not safe and secure, and that's my responsibility. And that's not because I, th I think you are like mine. You are my object, I do what I want. That's because you are something I love and value. And when you love and value something, you want to... Yes, but I... You want I to... <laughs> if you love and value something, you want to... Yeah. Okay. If you love and protect, like if you love and, no, and value I'm, something, you need to, you want to protect it. But if this guy talk to me, it's him problem. Because if I have my boyfriend, I respect my boyfriend. Because if no, I prefer of course, to, to be You alone. can't control it, but you can reduce the chances of it. And what I'm saying is, you go to a restaurant for lunch with your, with your friends, some guy can still come and, and try and talk to you and do this. But... It's not a situation, guys are always gonna talk to you. You're beautiful. Every guy knows that when he gets a beautiful girl, this girl is gonna get approached, right? So it's your job to like make yourself as unapproachable as possible. You need to be angry all the time <laughs> and you need to learn how to fight. And second of all, the difference between a restaurant and a club, people go to clubs specifically for that reason. Every single guy in a club is looking for, to take a woman home. That's what they're like. That's what 99% of guys' objectives for going for a club. Yeah, they want to go and have a good time with their friends, but out. I know personally. I have guy friends. Yeah, and when I was younger, it was the same for me. It's normal for guys. You know, guys are sleeping with girls for self-validation, to like make themselves feel better. The same way girls do certain things to make themselves feel better, guys are doing this. We talk about different things, like right, making businesses, growing yourself as a person makes you feel better. Like me now, but before. We had it, I'm, I'm sure there was times like, you have a really nice Instagram, I see your Instagram, it's really nice. I'm sure times you posted and you wanted like a lot of likes, right? You want a lot of people because you want the self-validation from something else. Guys have this with sex. If, if a girl sleeps with them, they're like, right, I, I'm a good man, she likes me. That's like a, a type of self-validation. So it's not about trusting you. I know when you walk into that club, even with your friends, you are, fuck, you are so beautiful. The second you step into that club, 20 guys are gonna look at you, and the, the first thing they're gonna think of is, how do I find a way to take her home tonight? Because that's how immature guys think. That's how 99% of guys think it's horrible. That's why 1%, uh, the 1% of guys and the 1% of girls, somos juntos. Yes. I, I understand your point and, and agree with some things. You agree, what did you say, you agree with everything? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you too. No, it's because in my case, for example, uh, I don't, I, I prefer to, if you if you ask me, I prefer to stay in like, if I go in a restaurant, it's because I'm closing a deal or something. But it's because now. Business woman. Yeah, it's, it's because it's depend 
what woman so you know how is your woman and for this reason i think that is very important that you can know very well the the woman how is how is she in the first dates if you know because this talk about that this woman so in in my case when someone try to have like a date with me i i i prefer to ask like what do you want or what do you look in a woman because I don't want to lose my time, you know? Okay, and so you ask me what I want, I say, <laughs> I want a Colombian, I want a Colombian woman who is successful with the business, she likes to work <laughs> hard, she looks beautiful, she has nice brown eyes, and she's just like, but the, really, the way she look at me and scrunch her nose is the most beautiful thing in the world, then, then what would you say? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I say that because it's very important that the people ask this, because can you imagine if you go in a date, and after you wait, you wait. No, you need to be clear in the first dates. You need to say what do you want or what why you look, what, what do you look in, in, a, in a man or something. No, I, I, think it, I, I think it's super important. Like what you're saying on the first day is super important. A lot of guys look at women and I would advise guys with this so much. They look at women like a certain way and they're like, I'm gonna agree with everything you say. I'm just gonna nod and say yes, yes, yes and pretend to love you because I have intentions, right? I think it's so important for a guy and I made this mistake. I made this mistake with, uh, with, with girls before in my life and it came back to bite me in the ass. I think it's so, so important that when guys are getting to know girls, they don't ignore the red flags just because the girl is super beautiful. Like if you're super beautiful and you tell me, like Diego, I go to the club every night with my friends. I, I, yes, I just like to do it. In this case, it's different. Right? So I can't be like, I can't be like, ah, oh, but she's beautiful so she can do what she wants. You have to concentrate on the red flags because Otherwise you get into a relationship and then you build love between someone, then we love each other. And then I want to like, no, you can't go to the clubs. But she was doing it when you were getting to know her. So you can't now demand that she, she doesn't do it. No matter how beautiful a girl is, you need to have your boundaries, right? As a man and a woman, you need to have your boundaries. So I think that love is easy. To love someone is easy. You live with someone like a beautiful girl and a beautiful guy for two, three weeks, you can't fall in love. Because like passionate people, I think you are passionate. You're Latina. You have to be passionate. I'm a passionate person as well. I'm, I'm a very emotional. Like it's very I, easy for me to fall in love, but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that you build a foundation of trust, that you build a foundation of, of like um, emotional control, of, of like proper communication and growth together before you fall in love and just go, ah, there are loads of problems, but it's okay. We love each other. We can, we can go to the sky together and, and reach the moon because it's not realistic. Love is great, but after time, if you love each other, but there are loads and loads and loads of problems, it will wear you down. You will both be super unhappy and you won't be able to continue in, in, in the relationship. Okay, we're gonna do like quick fire questions. So you just have like one word answers, all right? Mm -hmm. First thing, the most physically attractive thing in a man. Mm. Eyes and a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I say anything. Know. Ah, we said one word. Wait, no. Okay. Okay, and what is the biggest, like, turn off in a guy? Like, no, no. One thing he does is like, ugh. Mm, let me think. Mm. I like a guy when, I don't know how do you say, Ole Rico? With the, like, nice cologne. Yes, like, I don't like a, a nice guy. nice smell. Exactly. I don't like a guy that don't look like well for me. You know? You, you understand me? No, like something that you don't like. Yes, exactly. Like it's ah, a guy that's no bad. Like, yes, it's like that. The guy is like, no, very... Hygienic. Yes, it's, it's like that. I want that my man is look sexy for me. You know? So I don't like the... Yeah. the You're not good at the one word answers. You like to talk a lot. <laughs> no, no, no. You understand me that... No, but you, you talk too much. Why? One word answers. Oh, well, it's my extra. <laughs> it's okay, I, I like it when you talk, really. What was I gonna say? Ah, uh, your, your favorite nationality of guys in the world. Um, Think carefully. I don't have a specific play, but in my case, I don't like Colombian men. <laughs> so English Always man. in my life, I say, my boyfriend is from another country, not so, Colombian, because... England. I don't like the mentality. So England. Maybe. <laughs>
<laughs> I'll take it maybe. Um, and then like something that, so we, I said like you don't like the smell, something that turns you on. Something that's like, ugh, que rico, papacito. Really, I love the uh, smart guy. For me, this is real, very sexy. Yeah. Because I can, sometimes I'm to um, speak with people that no idea. You're so terrible I'm at one word answers. <laughs> <laughs> You're so terrible at one word answers. No, Smart. Because Inteligente. That was the one word answer. Yes, for me, this is very sexy. Dale. Your biggest guilty pleasure. You know what it is, guilty pleasure? No. Algo que haces que... Ah. Por ejemplo, for me, my guilty pleasure is Adele. Ah, okay. Ah, Adele. You are very romantic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But she is my guilty pleasure. Maluma is my pleasure pleasure. <laughs> no. Maluma, I, I love you. <laughs> Adele is, you love Maluma? But yo más. You love me more. <laughs> yes. Okay. I love Maluma more than you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Maluma more than you. Um, so yeah, my guilty pleasure is that I listen to Adele. And your guilty pleasure? Mm. You understand the question. Algo que haces que como un poco secreto. Ah, okay. Mm. Really? Um, I'm very nerd. For example, my I have a roomie and he's from Switzerland and all the time he's like always you you are studying and he's like, "Yes." You know, but I yeah, think that quite sexy. And because the people see me and don't think this like no she's like but really I feel that I'm very nerd <laughs> okay last question I'm turning the heat up you ready gonna be different type of question crazy question you ready okay what's your favorite position <laughs> and why doggy <laughs> really yes but then I can't look you in the eyes I don't know I like this position why Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, 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 I can feel more in this position. 